we should talk about calendaring sometime. I have color coding for all of my different activities across all the different work streams. And I would say probably between 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., uh, I calendar by 15 minute increments. So not to sound scary, but that is how I keep everything in order in my head of what I'm doing from every uh, 15 minute increment. Everyone makes mistakes, right? I've made plenty of mistakes, but the important thing is when you make that mistake, right? Is it terminal for your career or is it more of, hey, it's a learning opportunity, right? You learn X, Y, Z from that mistake. You won't do it again, right? And sponsors, especially, you know, if they really, uh, I would say, believe in your career and believe in your potential can help facilitate that conversation. So that's, that's my two cents is learn or it's not just enough to have mentors, but also engage with those mentors to see how you convert them into sponsors. Um, if you guys actually, I don't want to you know, go on a soapbox about this question the whole time, but I actually have an article I wrote on Forbes about um, how, why sponsors can have more of an impact in your career than mentors. So Emily, if you want to share the article uh, link is just on my Forbes page uh, with folks. I would love to be a CEO of a company one day, right? And so for me is planning out, right? Longer term, if I want to be a CEO of a public company, what steps do I need to continue, right? Where do I need to be at different points, milestones? What experiences, right, do I need to get, right? So that's why, for example, one of the experiences um, I need, right, in order to get to that goal is going through an acquisition, right? And understanding what an M&A activity, right, for a large company looks like. So that's an activity and an experience that I'm on the search for now, right? So I think just understanding, like, where do you want to be? Is that what truly is going to make you happy, right? For me, it's less about, okay, the title, right, and being there, but rather, how does it fulfill my personal mission, right, of what I want to do with women in tech? So understanding what part of that goal drives you and why you're doing it will keep you on that path, especially as sometimes, you know, it can get tough, right, and can get hard. <laughs>